Today was absolutely a blessing. As you guys know, my name is Mr. Banks. And today I want to go over how we caught the very tippy top on SPY to take puts for over 300% today. But go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of the educational content that I put out on a daily basis to make sure that you are a successful trader. So today, as we know, we had a nice stair step, little trend up and a big elevator down. Guys, I say this all the time. Puts are the way to go when they happen, right? We usually get a stair step up and elevator down. So today, how do we take this trade? What were we looking at? Well, the biggest thing we were looking at was supply and demand. So let's go over that. Let's take a step back. Let's look on the daily real quick. So when we're looking at the daily here, what were we seeing? Well, when we were coming up to this major level around 393.50, we can see when we look back, right, we need to zoom out, look left, and see what's going on with the chart. Why do we do this? Because we need to find our zones. So when we're looking at SPY here today on the daily, we can see that this zone was a very, very big zone. When we're looking left, we can see that we had a lot of demand here, right? Every time we ran into the zone, we had a lot of demand. So when we think about demand, we think about buying. So demand, there's buyers, supply, sellers. So let's say that one more time, supplier, sellers, demand, or buyers. So when we get into demand zone, we're usually looking at uh, buying happening. And we get into supply, we're usually looking at selling happening. So when we take a look back we're right here today, we can see that this is a very, very big zone that we are entering in. On the daily, it's more of a support resistance flip. But every time we were in the zone right here, right, we either had massive demand, right, buying, or we had big selling off, right? So we could see when we get into the zone, sell off, right? Get into the zone, sell off, right? So we either had a lot of buying or a lot of selling when we are in the zone. So when we take a look at this picture, we can see that this is a major zone. Demand, supply, demand, demand, supply, supply, demand, demand, demand. And today we had a nice little supply sell off today. So what is supply and demand? Usually you can find it, or this is how you find it, is there is a balance between buyers or sellers in that zone. So as we could see, there's a nice balance and then there's going to be a big uh, price movement out of that zone. That's how you know that's going to be a major zone. I mean, we could take a look right here. This was a major zone, right? I mean, you guys can see there's a very big balance happening within the zone. You guys see that? Very big balance between buyers or sellers. And then there's a major move out of the zone every single time. Turn into a supply at one point, turn into a little demand, and then start turning into supply, supply. So we had a nice balance. So when you're looking at supply and demand, we need to find these balances on the chart and then some pretty big movements out of that balance. And that's how you're going to find supply and demand on the larger time frames. Nice balance. We had a big move out of it. Nice balance, big move up, big move out. And then we came back up and this turned into supply again, right? Big move out, move out, move out. And then we had a nice balance and a big move out again. So looking at this, I hope this is starting to make a lot of sense to you guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the one hour now. When we entered this zone today, what was I looking at? Well, we obviously were looking at the daily, which I just showed you, was showing that this was a very, very big area where there was either a lot of demand or a lot of supply. And we had a nice support and resistance flip uh, around 393.50. Well, looking at the one hour now, we were just on the daily, we can see that there is a balance here as well. So massive demand here. We had a big price movement out of it. So you guys see how we see a nice little balance and then we have these big price movements out of these zones. This is one way to tell that, yes, this is a major zone, right? Supplier demand zone. Obviously, this was a demand and we had a nice movement up. But once we came under this demand and it broke, we can see that it's starting to turn into supply. So we could take a look left. I mean, we could take a look right here, right? This is also demand. Boom. Demand. Boom. 
So we're seeing that this big level between like 394 and 391, right, is a very big zone. And we could see that this was demand, demand turning to supply, supply. And we can even go all the way back to beginning of the year. We came into the beginning of this year, January 9th, we could see major supply. And once we broke above, it turned into demand, demand, demand again. And then we had a nice, big, crazy move out. And we came back up, demand, demand. And then once we finally broke under recently, it is now starting to turn into supply. So we want to look left, look left, look, guys. We're finding supply and demand zones. Now I'm going to take a look at the smaller time frames. So this is going to show me more of my most recent supply and demand zones. Obviously, it lines up with those bigger ones, but this is giving me more confirmation to find the zone. So I'm on the 15 minute now. We take a look back to March 10th, right? Last week. We can see that this is a major zone and there's a lot of action when we're getting into the zone again uh, within these last couple of weeks. So every time we entered into the zone, we were selling off. Sell off, sell off, sell off. And now today again, we sold off. Now going into after hours, it looks like we're back up here potentially this can turn into another demand, right? This zone can actually turn into demand and we can head higher. But when we take a look on the 15 minute, we also can see that this was a major zone as we kept selling off into it, right? We have major moves out of this zone, major, major moves out of the zone. And today we came back and touched this major demand zone. So we could see this 385 to 387.50, area. There's a lot of balance and we get major price movements out of it. Balance, major price move out, balance, major price move up, and then kind of balance, balance, balance. And then the major price move up to the supply, back to demand, and now back up into this supply zone, which potentially can turn into demand going into tomorrow. So this is how we found our zones today, guys. Now we're looking at the five minute. Obviously we can see this on the five minute as well. So I will also look at the five minute to see if these zones add up. And we can see there was a nice balance and there was a lot of movement whenever we entered into this zone right here. Supply, supply, big moves out, supply, big moves out, supply, big moves out. And then today again, supply, big moves out. We could not break above this last big move when we entered into this around 393, 50 level. So that's how we found this 393, 50 level was, okay, the last time we were in the zone, where was the height of it? Well, it was the high was around 393, 50. So that is where we were looking at for today to either break above to have this zone turn to demand, right? So it'd be buyers are now taking control and we head higher or are we turning into supply again? So when we were started to fail this 393.50, which was this level you guys can see right here, the most recent high of this supply zone. When we could not breach that, we knew, okay, when we started to get weak, that we're most likely gonna sell off. And that is when we started to take our puts. And these puts ran over 300%. Now I wanna look at one more thing. Maybe you didn't take it up here. Obviously, we had a nice little distribution, but what was happening after we could not break that 393.50? Well, one of the major things that we were looking at, personally, I use a two-minute, check my other videos uh, on my personal strategy beyond this using EMAs. But when we could not breach the 393.50 level, as I was showing, what is happening? We are creating higher lows, high, I mean, sorry, lower highs, right? And then lower lows. So lower low lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. So it is showing us that the bears are in control, supply is in control, sellers are in control here. And now when we could not reach back above this major level, this was these nice little breakout once we got up here. Once we came down underneath it, you guys see that? And we failed that nice little bear flag. We had a massive sell-off today. 
a massive sell-off at the zone. But we started taking the puts at this 393.50 level because we could not break it. And we started creating these lower highs showing that the strength was not there anymore and the sellers were taking over. And I want to show you guys real quick, just for the proof, today uh, we also gave it on our watch, 393.50 was the telltale on the watch. And I even gave it here around 392 to 394. And if you guys want to take a look in our discord, we absolutely ate today. First day, I mean, team, our education, guys, we want to make you the best trader you can be. So our education, we're always telling you why, and educating, educating you why we are taking the trades. I mean, the team absolutely ate today. You could see all of the wins, even the small accounts. But besides that, I hope this video helped you guys. And another last thing was, I wanted to make this more about supply and demand, but another thing on today of why we knew this was a, such a big level was our SMAs, right? The 200 SMA, and let's take a look at the 100. So as we know, the 200 is also a very, very big indicator, especially on the daily. If we're below the 200, and then that is very bearish. If we're above the 200, that's showing bullish. So understand that. Short below 200, take long above 200. So if we're below 200 SMA, especially on the daily, we should be looking at shorting the pops. Once we break back above that 200, we can look to start to take things long. So the 200, remember, that's a nice pivot level, especially on the daily, the 200 SMA. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Try to make this quick so you guys didn't get bored. Uh, hope you guys learned a lot. Comment. Let me know if you liked it. Uh, love you guys. Let's all become good traders. Let's all get rich in 2023. Future millionaires in the making. See you guys next time. Love you guys.